Hello boys and girls, welcome to today's story time. I'm Miss Lorraine from the Children's Ministry here at Calvary Chapel of Costa Mesa. Today's story is called The Night and the Firefly. A Boy, a Bug, and a Lesson on Bravery. It's written by Tara McClary Reeves and Amanda Jenkins. In a big green bush in a not so quiet yard, Phineas the firefly was taking a nap when suddenly he was jolted awake by Doyle, a nasty smelling bullfrog who lived in a neighboring pond. Day after day, Doyle came crashing into the yard looking for lunch. And every day Oliver the Brave would be there to stop him. Away frog, back to the pond from where you came. As long as the sun was shining, Oliver fought with great courage. I am Sir Oliver, frog slayer and friend to bugs. But every night when the sun went down, Oliver's biggest battle would begin. Mom, can God see in the dark? Mom, do ogres grow? growl or roar. Mom, do dragons have sharp teeth? Mom, are you sure there aren't monsters under here? Oliver, his mother said softly as she tucked him in under the covers. God loves you and he has the greatest adventure planned for your life. I want you to trust him, even when it's dark outside. Oliver snuggled in close to his mother. He felt safe whenever she was near. But alone in his room, the tick-tock of Oliver's clock seemed to get louder and louder as the house got quieter. And all the scary things that lived in Oliver's imagination kept him awake and afraid. As soon as the sun came up, Doyle was back and hungrier than ever. But this time, the little knight could not keep up with the wretched frog. And when Oliver stopped to yawn, Doyle snatched a dragonfly out of the air. Gulp, burp. Sad and battle-worn, Oliver dragged himself inside it. He had lost, and his little bug friends were now at the mercy of a very wicked frog. Mom, do angels have big muscles? Mom, can aliens see our house from outer space? Mom, is the man on the moon mean? Oliver was too afraid to even blink, which is why he saw the friendly, familiar light flickering outside his room. Good evening, Sir Oliver, the firefly said to his friend as he entered the room. What was the trouble today? Oh, Phineas, I'm so sorry. I'm too scared to close my eyes in the dark, and I was sleepy. That's why Doyle won today, Oliver wiped away a tear. I wish God had given me a light like yours, then I'd never be afraid of the dark. Oliver, everyone is afraid of something. Phineas glanced toward the window. I'm scared of Doyle and the neighborhood children with their nets and jars. But everything you need is right here. Oliver stared at the firefly. What do you mean? Well, Phineas began. Psalm 91 says that those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. A shadow, Oliver frowned. I could never rest in a creepy shadow. The Almighty, Oliver, that's God. The Bible says he will cover you with his feathers. You will take refuge under his wings. Just imagine it, Phineas said as he flitted toward the ceiling. And stretching over Oliver's bed was the wing of a giant eagle, a feathery fortress, shielding Oliver from the things that scared him. Wow, what else does it say, Oliver said slowly, his eyes wide and fixed on the feathers. Verse 11 says, God will send his angels to protect you. Whoa! You will defeat lions and cobras. You will stomp on fierce serpents. Oliver heard Phineas yell. And the next thing he knew, 
Oliver was clutching the lion's mane and riding it gallantly through the jungle alongside a river and into the wide open countryside. Little Knight had never felt more brave. You want to hear my favorite part? Phineas asked his young friend. The Lord says he will rescue those who love him. He will protect those who trust him. Whenever you call out to him, he will answer. He will be with you. Good night, brave knight. Sunrise will be here soon, and along with it, the adventure you were created for. Tomorrow, the battlefield will see a new day and a new night. The one who lives under the protection of the Most High dwells in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. That's from Psalm 91, 1 and 2. Thank you for sharing story time with me. Have a blessed day. We love you. We missed you.